That went very well. <laughs> Let's see if any of the guys notice anything different. <laughs> Oh God, I'm blind. I'm blind. Hey. <laughs> notice anything different? You washed your hair. <laughs> I took a shower, that's right. <laughs> you notice anything different? Um, no. Tell me you noticed something different. Yeah, your pockets aren't attached to your shirts over there. I noticed that too, Don, I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, these, these are, this is like an it iPhone pocket. No, it looks like it's it's a phone pocket. It, it like it looks like the, at the jean factory they like didn't know what to do with these pockets, so they just like sewed them onto your shorts. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and change out of these clothes. Gotta appreciate the Steve for a minute. Actually, the goal today is to no, no. install the- this, this is the Steve. That's the Steve. This is the Steve. If you guys wanna cop some merch, you have until the end of the day Tuesday, and then that is that for this drop. I'm gonna go ahead and change out of these clothes and put in something a little bit more comfortable because today we are installing the RB26. We have to measure and mock up the McKinney motor mounts anyway, so we're gonna put the engine in, or mock them up, drill into the subframe, bolt the mounts to the engine, put that in the car, make sure everything will work, kind of gauge the steering column, and one step closer. But first, I must change. All right, back in my shop clothes. I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, PTT time. Let's go install an engine. Did you get the memo? What the hell? <laughs> McKinney motor mount, drill bit, fits perfectly. All right, now I just gotta find the drill. First thing first in order to get these mounts on, I'm gonna go ahead and bolt them up onto the subframe, see where they sit, mark it, and that's probably why I'll be drilling the hole through it, through it being the subframe. <laughs> bolt-in motor mount for this engine. They support the channel, and hi guys, if you're watching this, <laughs> bolts it up quite nice. I'm gonna line it up with the subframe now. All right, I got mine in. Sean's working on his. I don't have small hands, it's not fair. <laughs> it, yeah, you're like stuck with the power power steering lines right there. I at least had open access here. They got one side, but. Yeah, if you guys can tell, they're a little bit shinier. Sean actually spray painted them to match the gloss black theme of the engine covers. Once they, of course, change from green to black. I'm trying to match yeah, my match nails. Yeah, match your nails. <laughs> the goal is to actually have this build done tomorrow. It's not done. The engine will technically be in tomorrow, and that's what the goal was, so maybe I should have positive affirmation. Should have lied to myself. Told myself this car would be running, not that the engine would be in. See? Life gives you what you ask for, so be very specific what you want. Okay, and before I drill into the subframe, I'm just gonna make sure this is even. It's, it's pretty even. Let's check Sean's side. Two, pretty even. All right, time to drill some holes in the subframe. So I don't want to come at it at an angle. I want to make sure it's uh, perpendicular. So we're gonna roll the car in to put it up on a lift oh. <laughs> so that I can at least access from underneath without doing like a wonky, you already know, position. We'll just have to find some washers or make a spacer and use that to fill 
in between the subframe and the motor mount here. It's just coming along nicely. I never want to work on the floor again. <laughs> oh, look at these lights. This makes it look so welcoming. I like these. Are those holes supposed to be right next to each other? <laughs> that almost looks like my head draining. <laughs> brought the hoist out. Right now I am putting tape on the pretty little green covers in order not to stuff them up since they are not ours. Although I would of course do this on yours too. That's messed up bro. I, I said of course. That's so messed up bro. What are you talking about? Wait a second. <laughs> Say yes and shake your head sideways. Yes absolutely 100%. Alright you're really yeah. you're really good at lying. Yeah, you're good at this. Can you pat your head and work your at the same time? Hell no. What do you do think it. I am? Like a genius? Do it. <laughs> the main reason to put the RB26 in the S13 is so that we can mock up. I can mock up the down pipe that's also going to include the elbows while we just wait for the end fitting. So we're really close to being done with this. Think about it. Once the down pipe is mocked up, we'll probably pull it just to finish the turbos and then we're good. gonna be running that anyways. Overall, so far, it's gone in pretty easy. Knock on metal, knock on metal. Okay, we've run into another issue. It looks like the diff is hitting the cross member. The diff is in the front? Ah, oh, shit. Not the diff. The oil pan is hitting the cross member. The diff housing. Damn it, just take a look. <laughs> the slow zoom. See, it's just resting on there. So it doesn't look like it's the webbing though. It just looks like the diff housing is too, like we're literally gonna have to saw more of it off. This is exactly why we are test fitting the RB. This is also exactly why people have plastic fake engines that they sit in the bay. But I think we're gonna have to grind down, if not cut the diff housing in order to clear the cross member. But as of right now, that seems to be the biggest issue, the only issue, knock on metal. Hopefully that will give us the clearance that we need. Just gonna go ahead and install it and hopefully that clears. run directly under and then we just do like a a flange to like separate it. This is wheel talk. Real talk. Wheel. No, does it wheel, oh, wheel. Talk? wheel. Oh wheel. Oh wheel, fine. I'll I'll you'll do it. Right, I'll go. do it. <laughs> it's in You're doing a great job. Keep it up. Oh yeah. Can't forget the collector. 
This actually fits pretty nicely. There's no radiator in it yet? <laughs> but other than that, yeah. Oh, the radiator will fit fine. S chassis are the best chassis for swaps. There's just so much room for activities. You really want to run AC on a race car? <laughs> All right, you guys, that is a wrap for today. The GTR engine is in the bay. She fits nicely. Like I stated earlier, by the end of today, merch will be officially out of stock for the season until the next drop. If you did cop merch, make sure you're posting it on Instagram and tagging me so I can share that and save that, and it honestly means so much to me. Ikra, we out here with love. Bye! <laughs>